Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at One Four Seven, and it's time to pick the next sort of small diamond painting that I'm going to do, which is roughly thirty by forty or smaller. Um, I did finish the autumn couple, um, which was de-kitted recently, so it's now time to pick the next one. Um, so I've got my decision wheel with all my smaller diamond paintings in it. So let's see which one it picks for me today. Raccoon. Um, so it's called Raccoon and it's in a square. So let me just grab my square diamond paintings. I have had to move these recently um, just to fit shop stock in the craft room so it can sometimes be a little bit of a struggle to reach the hangers but I don't have to get these that often so this one is Raccoon or at least that's what the company named it let me tuck that back up around the side of my lights so this is one that I got oh ages ago um from fan cells I got both this one and there was one of a fox so there is a lot very much a lot of white in this one so this is all 3865 which means I'm starting at the top um, because I do prefer, if I've got blocks of colour like this, I do prefer to get the bulk of it done because then the exciting part of the picture is after. Otherwise, you do this exciting part and you just, you have no motivation to finish. Whereas with the niceness of starting a painting, I don't mind doing blocks and then I'll get to the nice part. So let me find the diamonds. This this is currently where all my square diamonds are. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. So I do have them all labelled up the same way um, I have my label sticker on. And there we go. There is the pouch for the raccoon. That wasn't too hard to find. I currently have oh, so many diamonds in there for the custom diamond paintings that I'm currently working on. As soon as those have gone down a bit, I'm sure it'll be a little bit easier. So we have 16 colours. This is the 3865. They are in baggies, which is nice. That's quite nice. And do they have, they do have DMC numbers on the backs because I'm in two minds whether to do what I did with the custom from Huacan and basically cut out the canvas and put it through my sticker thing or I might just use stickers. To be fair, the num it is just numbers and letters. I'm not going to have to draw any really weird symbols, which is good. Um, so I've got 16. So what storage container should we use? I have a few different ones. I have a 33. But... I really, really want to use this one. Um, so this is one I was gifted by a subscriber and it does have individual little pots and you sort of squeeze at the side and it pops it open. And I'm itching to give it a go. So do you know what? Even though this has got space for more, that's fine uh, because what I've got a lot of is 3865, which is the last color. I can just fill as many pots with it as I want. Um, and then if I do have any extras after that, I can deal with it. So got my diamonds, got my canvas. I'm gonna use this storage because I want to, quite purely, because I want to. So let me get some stickers. Ideally, I want some square ones because 
I'm using a square pot. So I have a sheet of the square diamonds that we sell in the shop. Um, this one has a little mark on one of the stickers. So therefore, it can't be sold, which means it must be mine. Such a shame. Such a shame, these things happen. So I'm gonna grab two pens. Um, I quite like using two different ones. The reason being is I will put the symbol as one, and then I will put um, the DMC number as another. So I'm gonna use yellow this time because there's a little bit of sun out today. Not a lot, but it's a little bit sunny. So five, six, seven, and then we've got A, B, C, D, then we've got E, F, H, J, and K. So that's the purple, which gives me all my symbols. And then underneath, I'm gonna do the DMC number because I'll need that for de-kitting. I could just use the, the chart on the canvas, but I'll be back in two like a yo-yo. Plus, I kind of like to know the DMC number that I'm working with. And this is quite nice. We've got 451, 452 and 453. And I do like it when we have a few DMC numbers that are sort of together. So in this case, it's what, two, three, and four. So as you can see here, the colors are similar, but they're not the same. Um, and to me, that always says that it's gonna be quite nice shading. So seven, seven, nine, eight, one, nine, eight, three, eight, eight, four, two, three, three, seven, one. Got that dark color in there. 3740, 3787, 3860, 3861, 3864, and the 3865, of which we have gazillions. Now, I could write multiple sort of labels. I just need to check my pots because they're not all facing the same way around because it's the first time that I've used these. But look, see, look, that looks cute. Okay, so number one, 310. Let me get down. So I'm currently using this little bin. It's sort of my go-to because it's above my head and I don't have to mess about. Um, and that was from Lou, from Lou's Dotty Diamond. She sent me that. She also did send me a sort of big pop-up bin. To be honest, that gets used so much at the moment for the shop. <laughs> Every time we're packing and sorting, it, it just seems to be constantly out um, and constantly full of rubbish. So it is getting used, Lou. It's just not getting used on a video at the moment because it's currently being used on a daily basis. Okay, three, which is number 452. So it's easy when it's the first set of numbers because the number on the bag matches the symbol number. After that, it goes to the ABC. But look, it's amazing how many diamonds you can fit in these. Really likey. Okay, number four. Where did number four go? There it is. So it's not the most colorful painting, this one, but it has been in my to-do pile or in my stash for quite a while. It doesn't have a home to go to, which is probably why it's not pushed itself to the top of the pile at any point. Um, and that's why I, do like this Decision Maker app because otherwise it can be hard. Like I've got 
paint all the painting that I've got I like um, you know they're sort of my favorites out of all of them number six so it, it's never a matter of me not liking something it's, it's just a matter of what could be my favorite at the time whereas by using the decision maker app it sort of it does the picking for me which means I don't end up with paintings that I do really really like in effect getting ignored and getting left um, because something else always takes my fancy first um, and I find yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying the paintings that I'm doing and I'm just doing them at different times okay so number eight now or number eight on the canvas is now the letter a so there's number eight and just to confirm number eight three eight it does actually have I'm not sure if that's going to focus but it does have the number eight and it does have the eight three eight as well it's sort of another way of just cross-checking the colours before I pop them into the storage containers because I don't want to mess up here because as soon as I start putting diamonds on the canvas I'm just going to be looking at the symbols so they really really need to be the right numbers otherwise the painting could look a little bit funny number nine just say I'm just checking which way these ones open once I've used this storage pot um, I'm likely to put them all back in the same way they just don't always come that way when you first get them but I hadn't I haven't used these yet and I've been itching to but the last painting I did had hardly any colors to be fair this painting doesn't have a lot of colors but one I want to use it so I'm going to um, and the second the second thing is is I do have a lot of white so I think I'm just gonna fill the rest of the pots with the white and that will just that will work okay three seven eight seven we're on to number 12 and it has the right number on it. So we have a lot of sort of pinky tones here. We've got some green, we've got some black, we've got some brown. It'll be very interesting shading. In fact, I think all these are now, are they all the other way up? Oh, I don't know, right, I'm gonna fight with it in a minute. Okay, so F3860 is number 13. This is quite an easy kit up. Even that bag that was fuller, it's only half filled that top. And then 3861. Which one's that one? That one. Another sort of pinky purplish colour. Three eight six four, which is sort of a skin tone type color, peachy, browny, and then we have the white. So three eight six five, we have two bags of this one. Not surprising, it's a lot of. A lot of background does mean I'm currently working on a lot of squares but that's okay too so that's sort of a full there's a little bit of breathing room but that's a full cube so let's see how many I get into this one 
got one that's escaped. Now, I'm not filling them too full. I do want a little bit of breathing room because I don't want to try and close the box and have a headache. Ooh, just sent one flying. But it'd be interesting to work on a square from fan cells, see what the, how the squares lock together. And there's nothing like a background full of squares, full of one color to help you get a feel for the painting as well. That one's a little bit fuller than the last one, but we're good. How many are these gonna take? And these are pretty full bags. They're bigger bags than the other ones were as well. Now, as I say, you can always label up each individual pot. Um, because it's the last of the pots for me, I just won't bother. It's just another one to sort of clean off a label from at the end. Am I gonna fit them all in this one? Okay, it's borderline. I probably could fill them all, but I also kind of don't see the point. So I'm just gonna put these into another one. And there, this is where I'm really making a mess. Okay, get in. Should have should have got my little tray out. Okay, so I've not got many in that one, and I could have very well spread that into the other ones. Let me turn those pots round, but then these ones are the right way. Okay, so all my pots are the same way round now. But even though it's only labelled up till here. What I'll do when I start working on it is I'll start with this small pot and then I'll move my way down. Quite often, if I do end up kitting up ones that are in the strips and have multiple, then I would number it and then I would not number the ones that had extras and then I would number the next colour. Because these are individual pots, if I had more than the 3865 as an individual colour, I would probably do a second label. Um, I would potentially do it different, so I would either only put the DMC number on or only put the symbol on, just to let, or maybe use a different colour sticker, just to let me know it's an extra, um, rather than just being a base colour. And the reason for that is these pots may get jumbled up as I'm doing the diamond painting. Um, I mean, the symbols are pretty easy in the fact of it's one to seven and, and then the alphabet. So on this painting, maybe not so much. But on another painting, if it had a variety of numbers and symbols in all sorts of different places, then I could potentially move all these pots around into what makes sense for doing the diamond painting and then move them all back around to DMC order for de-kitting. But they're all in the pot. That's all contained, which is good. Um, don't need my stickers or my pens. I can take off the label off my mesh bag that held the diamonds originally. And I do quite often like to move that to the storage, preferably where there's no diamonds because that looks pretty. Um, and that is purely because I tend to do more than one diamond painting at a time. It's nice to have, you know, it labelled up. I'm sure that when I'm picking it up, it's the right diamonds for the right painting. Okay, I'm gonna grab my cover sheets and we'll get the canvas ready because I never know what painting I'm gonna do. I never know whether I need my cover sheets and I don't think to bring them in just in case. Um, but I have, these sort of, they're waxy type coated on both sides, fully reusable, um, and I store them in a passport holder because it fits perfect and it's pretty, and it's got diamonds on it. So I'm all for the prettiness, but I don't like these clear covers. I find that if I'm working on a painting with a clear cover, I just end up chasing the diamonds. So I'll start working in a section, but then I'll, I'll just see one up there, just see one up there. And the next thing you know, I'm moving all over the place. 
So let's see how many it takes on this to sort of cover up the raccoon. Okay, so that, oh no, not quite. So I was kind of hoping that that would go all the way up to the white, and it has very nearly, but there's a very slight shade of pink. Okay, so maybe if I just try this a little closer. Now, normally I'm not too fussed on, you know, the overlap when I'm doing a painting, when I'm putting the cover sheets on, but for this one, what I sort of want to do is I want to take it up to the line where we then start bringing colour in. Okay, so that is the line that colour starts to come into. So if I can get these, in fact, let me just have a look. Okay, that's very nearly. Okay, if I put that one flat and don't overlap it, which I normally do, that also covers up the edge here. Um, I say normally I'm not too fussed, but I do tend to work in these blocks. It's not going to help further down because the raccoon comes out. But I then put this one over the top. So what I can actually do then is when I've done basically all this section, I will then probably do this section to get as much white done as possible before I start on the exciting part. And this is what I'd class as the exciting part. Maybe not so much this, and I would probably continue down and start my little bit of other colours in this bottom corner. Um, but it gets the bulk of the boring out of the way. Um, so I'll do that, work all the way down. Then I'll do this, because it's got a lot of white, but then a little bit of confetti lot of white little bit of confetti and then I'll do this section down the middle which will still have some white on it but a lot more colour mixed in and it will sort of bring the painting you know it will be a say it will be the exciting part it will just start bringing the painting to life a little bit more and bring a little bit more enjoyment to it so I'm happy to overlap as I go further up I know the sort of way I'm going to be working on this is going to be probably upside down in the fact that I'll probably just turn it this way I'm only working on one symbol I like to start from the right and go across even if my hand does end up on the canvas I just use these sheets so once I've done this small section I'll probably just pull that, say, halfway over and use that to rest on while I do some more. Um, I may even move that down, you know, and create myself a line. And then I'll create myself a line and then I'll go down that way. Um, sort of tends to be the way I do it. I, I pull these off and line them up as I go along so that I keep all my diamond painting covered. But... He should be fun once he's done. Look at him. There's a lot of white, but look at him. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the kitting up of my next painting. I think I have all squares on the go now. Um, I do have my minions from Diamond Art Club, which is round, um, but that is sort of my large one. It is on pause at the moment, just while I'm doing... Um, some of the custom ones for the comparison. Um, plus I've got my Evermoment multi-panel on the go. I've got my Heaven and Earth design as well, though that's not been done for a bit. Um, so I won't be bringing that round back in until 
I've either finished my ever moment multi panel or I've made a dint in my customs. Um, but yeah, we're on square diamond paintings galore, but that's fine because I enjoy square and it will mean that I really enjoy a round when I get back to it as well. Um, but yeah, okay, stay tuned and you'll be able to see what, of course, a raccoon turns out like. I'm excited to use this storage though, and we'll see how it is to actually work with. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.